Hello everyone, this is Jazz again from Cybers UK and the Earlham Institute. This video is the second part of the data management series of the tutorials. Here we will talk about other ways of handling your data, particularly how you can upload and download your data to and from the data store. By now you should be able to know how you can do all of this through the web interface during the first data management video. Here we will use a third-party software tool that is free and easy to use called CyberDoc. CyberDoc is an application that allows you to drag and drop files between your local computer and the data store. To use this, you should be able to install CyberDoc following the links for your specific operating system. You can visit their webpage to know more information. After installing CyberDoc, you can now easily connect not only to the Cyber's data store, but to a lot of data servers that is publicly available. You will be able to connect to the most popular hosting service providers using connection profiles that they may provide. But for now, let's try to configure CyberDoc settings particularly to connect to our Cyber's data store. Again, the first thing to do here is to download the CyberDoc from their website and follow the installation instructions for your operating system. The next important part is to download the CyberDoc Cyber's connection profile which will be provided by the links in the instruction set. This will conveniently configure the CyberDoc settings for the Cyber's data store. By now, you should at least have the following files on your local computer. The first one is the installed CyberDoc application. And the second file here is the Cyber's data store CyberDoc profile. The rest of the files are files downloaded from the previous tutorials which we will try to upload on the data store in this tutorial. Now let's try opening the Cyber's data store CyberDoc profile. This will automatically open the CyberDoc application and the configuration window. Here you can enter your Cyber's credentials such as your username and password. All the other necessary fields are filled out by the provided Cyber's profile. Under advanced options, Please ensure that transfer files option is set to open multiple connections. After doing so, your credentials and the Cyber's data store information will automatically be saved whenever you need to connect to the data store. After this initial configuration, you will see that you will have a data store bookmark on the Cyber's doc application. If you double click on this data store bookmark in the Cyber doc window, you should now be connected to the Cyber's data store and view the contents of your home directory. Similarly, you can easily disconnect using this data store bookmark. When connected, you can see your location within the data store at the top of your CyberDoc window. Using the CyberDoc menu, you can select to go to folder or to navigate to any other data store location that is public or shared with you. CyberDoc can also be used to rename files and browse other shared or public data store locations. Now with everything set up, you can now easily upload and download data to the data store. Following the same instructions on my local computer, the CyberDoc window looks like this. We can now just select files or folders from our local machine and drag them into the CyberDoc window where you can see your folders and files on the data store. You may drag directly into an existing folder or to a new folder using the create new folder option of the CyberDoc file menu. For the exercise, you should have the following windows open. First, you should have the CyberDoc application connected to the Cyber's data store following the previous instructions and a window from your local computer where you can find the previously downloaded files for this tutorial. This should be a FASTA file and a readme text file and if not please refer to the earlier videos of the tutorials to know how you can get these files as previously mentioned you would just have to drag these files to the cyberdoc window to upload these files to the data store if you do this correctly a transfers window like this will appear and now you can monitor the upload to completion the same process applies to the download option if you drag a file from the CyberDoc window out to any directory in your lo local computer. A transfers window will ap again appear 
where you can monitor the progress of your download or any other upload that you are doing. When uploading data to the data store, you should not upload files, folders with names containing spaces or names that contain special characters. You can also browse the CyberDoc file menu option for more functionalities. For example, you can directly specify files and folders to move without dragging and dropping them. You can also opt to synchronize folders which allow you to only copy items that are missing in a folder rather than copying all contents. Now that you know all your options in handling your data from your computer to the discovery environment, we can now proceed to use apps and tools to analyze and process our data. That's it for this video and I will see you on some other videos.